Welcome to Warrior Work. I'm Coach Hill. Today we're going to share with you a short form and a few applications called Hands on the Wall. If you're a Kempo student, then you're going to notice this pattern is the same pattern as Short One Kata. We start with the hands up, so it's like if you were actually put your hands on the wall. And we use this posture a lot for integrative arts when we're saying, hey, what's going on? Can I help you? What do you want? So we can use soft techniques or hard techniques. You need to leave. So we can, again, use a whole variety of verbal techniques. So we're working on our mind and our body instead of just physical techniques. So I'm facing 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock. You always want really to use that orientation. We start off by just having better our left foot and then our right foot. I'm going to turn to face nine. It's the back again. We have two steps of the right foot back, turning to face three, back, and then turning to face six, back, and then back to square. Key element to this again is it's a very natural stance. Musashi, Maimo Musashi says your combat stance should be your everyday stance. So when I step back, here we are. We can use the left hand, we can use the right hand easily. We're not looking defensive, we're not looking scared, we're not looking aggressive. We are taking control. And again, from here I can use my right foot, left foot. I can move easily any direction and pattern. And I can adjust the stance to where, again, you know, left foot back or right foot back. Also applies to blint walk arnis and has a number of Tai Chi principles in it. I'm going to bring Coach John in here, and we're going to demonstrate how we actually apply this with another person. One of the things that is key with this is that when we're doing the form, you're going to see a lot of people when they first learn it, they do this. They step and their shoulders go. So it's challenging for them to actually step and keep their shoulders square. So what I'm going to do is come around here, face me, and I'm going to hold on to him. Oh, actually, you'll be able to see this eventually through the process. So we're starting off 12 o'clock, computer square. Okay. I'm going to step back to my left foot, step back to my right foot. Now, the key when I'm doing this is my hands, you can see, are not moving at all. I'm moving my waist and my torso. But what I'm doing is I'm rotating him in this position so that way I'm keeping my hands square all the time, I'm keeping my elbows in close as I'm doing these grabs. Now, it's important for this position. But again, that's the drill to show that. In reality, I would be connecting. So again, when I hit, I want to hit and grab. So again, what you're seeing is I'm just seeing me break the balance and then grabbing. Okay? So I'm not just trying to grab, which all the time is miss. I hit and I grab, so I break the balance. And then I'm probably going to either push and pull or pull and push. Okay? And then again, I can also torque. But you're seeing how I'm actually using my Keep my elbows in close, keep my shoulders relaxed, so I'm not bringing the elbows up and bringing all of those elements in. Also from this position, okay, I can also easily elbow, I can go to the body strike. Again, the key is this short, sharp connections with the movement. Now if I have somebody practicing, if you have a senior practicing behind, I'm going to have him stand behind me and put his hands on my shoulders. And what you do is, in this position, is that you're keeping the student's shoulders level and even. I'm actually doing the form in reverse this time. So again, it's easy to do. If this disconnects at all, then he would correct my shoulders for me in that process. Okay? So that way you're actually using that in that position to connect, correct. You're going to find at the beginning, students are always going to tend to always hips move, shoulders move. So it's teaching them to keep their shoulders, their hips aligned, and that way again they can move in position from those things. So again, this form is called hands on the wall, follows the short one pattern, and again you can do it both directions. You know, the mirror effect is oftentimes we do in Kempo, and you can use that as a building block to throw in lots and lots of great techniques. Remember, key quote is, your combat stance should be your everyday stance, or your combat stance is your everyday stance. Thanks for joining us, we'll see you next time in Warrior Work.